Hey y'all. Just wanted to do a quick general reading. Hope everything one is doing well. Still in this retrograde. <laughs> I hope you are successfully navigating through. All right. What do you want? Ooh. Ten of Wands. You want to you be able to let go of that burden. Um, you're almost there. Whenever you're ready to let go of the stress, you you can. All you got to do is drop them. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're stressed or worried about, all you have to do is let it go. Breathe, stretch, shake, let it go. Right? Whether you have to meditate, cry, yell, you know, go outside and throw some rocks, kick some rocks, walk, um, go to the gym, Whatever it is that you need to do to relieve that stress, you need to go ahead and let it go. Again, whenever you're ready, all you got to do is drop all the sticks and the burden will be, um, the cycle will end for, you know, whatever it is that you're going through. What's blocking you? What is blocking the collective from getting what they want? Seven of Cups, you don't know which cup to choose. Um, you have too many options. You want multiple. You want more than one, and you may not be able to have more than one, or whether it's more than one person, more than one, whatever, but more than one job. Um, you may have to make a choice here. Um, trying to have more than one may be a fantasy world for you. Um, this may not be something that you can realistically have, and so you need to consider take that into consideration and not try to. Have everything you want because you just want to be selfish and greedy, right? Um, this is a personal challenge for you. But once you make a decision as to what you really should be doing, it could be a pivotal moment in your life and bring you great success, right? Right now, you're showing up as the emperor in reverse, male or female. Um, whatever you're trying to have in these cups, it's a weak foundation, is keeping you oppressed. Um, maybe you're questioning your own authority or the authority of someone around you. Again, this is male or female. What's the solution? Five of Cups came out in the reverse. It's hard for you to see the positive side. You have two cups in the upright and three cups that are laying down by the, their side. These cups are still strong and full of, of growth, but you can't even focus on it because you're stuck in your own mind. Again, like I said, all you got to do is drop the load and let it go, but you're holding on to it, having your own private pity party, just churning those thoughts around in your head over and over again as if that's going to change the situation and it's not doing anything you know, it's not serving a good purpose in your life or, or the life of anyone that you're here to help. Um, you may have regrets about some of the choices that you made in the past, but again, there's nothing you can do about it except to release that energy and let it go so you can move on. You have the world here in the reverse, right? You need closure. You can bring yourself closure. You don't have to have a conversation with that other person. You don't have to confront anybody. You can actually just make a decision to say, I'm done thinking about this and move on to something else. Focus on something else. Focus on something creative. Focus on something that will make you money. But what you're focusing on now is just keeping you living in regret. Again, you're having your own private pity party and nobody else wants to come. What kind of party is that? <laughs> I'm good on the pity party. Yeah. Um, 
you know, it's something that you're not satisfied with in your life. And again, all you have to do is choose the right cup. Because whatever you're doing right now, it's just not working for you. You're not finished, you know, closing out this cycle, but you're anxious to start the new, the next best thing. But you have to get, you know, your mind right in order to move forward. You can't just jump from one situation to the other situation, you know, and bring all of that baggage with you. You're the magician. You can manifest anything. It's up to you, baby boo. <laughs> you have all the resources that you need. You have the wand. You have the cup. You have the pentacle. You even have the infinity. Limitless possibilities. Unlimited possibilities right? An infinite number of possibilities. You have the skill that you need. All you have to do is take action with confidence. Use your power and your natural given abilities. Everything that you need is inside of you, right? And you can make anything happen that you want. Uh, what are your strengths? What are the strengths of the collector? What are the strengths of the collective? What are the collective strengths? What are the strengths of the collective? Of course, being a magician is a strength. What else? You feel like you've invested too much into something and you're not getting the results you want. You're being impatient, but you know, if you're patient, your investment will pay off. Um, so maybe you need to develop the strength of patience. Maybe you didn't plan something out well. You know, you, you, you planted some, some seeds in September that you're supposed to wait until April to plant. And so, you know, maybe that's why they weren't growing as fast. Or again, you put your seeds in the wrong cup. And that's why it's not growing. You have to be able to use your intuition and discern the difference between what you should have and who you should be with and what you should not have and what you sh who you should not be with. And it seems that you're maybe having a challenge with that, right? You invested in the wrong thing. You put too much time and effort into the wrong thing and you're just not getting the results that you want. However, if, you be, if you're patient with yourself and you use your intuition, you could turn the whole situation around. Okay, what does the collective need to release? Ace of Cups here. Man, you're, you're, you're too emotional. Um, I'm, usually the Ace of Cups in the upright is a good card. Again, we should be a balance. And I don't know if I said that here. I just did another video. I might have said that in this other video. But we should be a balance of masculine and feminine energy. It's called duality, right? You should not be too emotional. Tap more into your creative side, right? Elevate your spirituality. You know, say positive things um, to yourself. Give yourself good, positive vibes. You need to start a new relationship. <laughs> right? You need to release this old energy that's not serving a good purpose in your life. And you need to start something new. Right? King of Swords. If this is not your energy, this is the energy of someone around you. Your mind is strong enough to make this happen. You know? You need to think logically and with clarity. Again, you may need to start meditating. You may need to eat healthier. You know, you're always giving other people good advice, but you're not taking the advice that you're giving. You are an intelligent leader. You can be fair and ethical, right? Seek truth and, and build up your mind. Again, if this is not your energy, this is the energy of, of someone around you or someone who's coming towards you. So take it wherever it resonates. Okay, let's clarify the emperor in reverse. Why is the emperor in reverse out here? Okay. 
because you need to walk away. <laughs> you need to move on again from this energy. You're trying to hold on to all these wands and have all these different cups and it's not serving you a good purpose. You need to go into solitude and think about the things that are going on in your life and make an adjustment. You also have the justice card out here in the reverse. Um, somebody's been being dishonest. If it's not you, it's the energy of somebody around you. And this is why you're not getting justice. You're not being accountable and responsible for your actions. You know, especially if you're trying to have all these cups and you're being dishonest about it. That's not right. Can we please clarify justice in the reverse? Why is justice in the reverse out here, please? Why is justice in the reverse out here? Because something is being hidden in the dark. <laughs> you know... Sometimes people don't know exactly what's wrong, but you just know it doesn't feel right. Like something is just right. It's not right. Something in the milk ain't clean, right? Don't drink the milk. It's spoiled, right? <laughs> you're trying to fake being optimistic, but you know, you're just overexposing yourself for nothing. And you may be even a little bit depressed. Because you're stuck in this energy and all you have to do is drop the sticks. Drop that energy. And the whole thing will turn around. Whenever you're ready. Four of Wands in the... Um, I'm sorry. Four of Swords in the reverse. Um, you're ignoring the fact that you need to rest and take a break from this energy. Right? This is why you're not recovering. And you may feel like you can't meditate or you can't relax because you have too many thoughts that are not serving a good purpose going on in your mind. Why is the world out here in the reverse? Because you're supposed to have a ten of pentacles. <laughs> you're supposed to be leaving a legacy, an inheritance, building your success. Building a family, a strong, solid family that's prosperous and well-established. That's what you're supposed to be working on. Not stuck with this energy that's not serving a good purpose. It's a waste. Well, it's not a waste if you learn a lesson from it, right? If you're learning the lessons that you need to learn from this situation, then great. Otherwise, you're wasting your energy and your time and it's not serving a good purpose in your life or the life of anyone that you're here to help. Any of your offspring that you're here to leave, leave a legacy to, right? Why is the seven of pentacles out here in the reverse? You're heartbroken. And I get that. You know, I don't mean to be insensitive or sound insensitive. You know, I maybe sound a little hard sometimes. But... You know, again, if it's not serving a good purpose, it's time to make a decision. And sometimes that decision has to be the hard decision, which is to move on so that you can have better. Because as soon as you let, as long as you hold on to this energy, you're blocking the energy that you're supposed to have, right? You're not going to get better until you release the energy that's not supposed to be there. And that's just how that goes. You're blocking your blessings, literally. Okay, how about this four of swords in reverse? Yep, the death card. It needs to come to an ending. Move on to calmer waters. You're the high priestess. You have the intuitive nature to do what you need to do to make this all turn around in your favor. Seven of Swords is out here in the reverse. Um, you know, you're you're being deceived and or you're deceiving yourself. But whatever, again, you have all these cups out here trying to lie and whatever. But you've gotten caught or you're going to get caught or the person around you is going to get caught. You need to stop making excuses. You know, the truth is always going to come into the light, Right? You're deceiving yourself. You're lying to yourself that you can have all of these wands 
And you're going to make it all the way to this house. Let that go. Man, let it go. You can't have all the cups. If some of these cups is duds in there. It ain't even good stuff in those all of those cups. Some of them are a dud. And you, you're just trying to hold on to everything. Just be greedy and selfish all at the same time. Then you have the devil out here in the reverse. You gain power through being evil. You need to let go of those evil ways, thoughts, and actions. Stop your bad behavior. Detach from this energy that is not serving a good purpose. All the cards are saying the same thing for the most part. Let's get one more. How do we cut the moon? <laughs> the moon in reverse, right? You're not thinking logically, right? Again, if this is not your energy, this is the energy of somebody around you. Your thoughts are all messed up. You're being impulsive. You're not using your creativity. And you're just wilding out here. Just saying whatever you want to say and doing whatever you want to do. And that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Where's the self-respect, right? Trying to have all of these attachments, that's for me. That's a lack of self-respect. Not unless you can be honest and say, okay, this is how I operate. But if you're trying to be deceptive, lying to yourself and other people, this is no good. This is not a true sign of womanhood or manhood. This, that's a sign of somebody who's weak and lacks confidence, actually. Okay, can we clarify the moon in reverse? All these reversals. It doesn't have to be perfect. But right now, you don't have the skills. You know, you're being sloppy. Yep, and, and it's making you feel like you're left out in the cold. But you're doing it to yourself, right? Nobody's doing this to you. Whatever financial issues, health issues, um, you know, feeling spiritually, you know, weak or bankrupt or in despair, you're causing all of this with your ways, thoughts, and actions. Nobody else is doing this to you. It's all you, baby boo. <laughs> all right, y'all. That was your reading. I hope that it was helpful. Until next time, later.